first of all, it is a great day in Atlantic City. And uh, on my ride down the parkway, uh, with the sun shining and the weather warming up, all I could think about was how great Atlantic City businesses are going to do this weekend. We've got Super Bowl, we've got Valentine's, and people are rolling in to the city. And uh, it is these kinds of events and occasions that let us know that Atlantic City is still in the hearts and minds of people, not just in the state of New Jersey, but in the region. Uh, Governor Murphy and I uh, convened the Atlantic City Restart and Recovery Working Group in the summer of uh, 2020 to begin to re-examine the post-pandemic reality that uh, was to be Atlantic City and to provide our recommendations for how the city can recover from COVID-19. There is no doubt that Atlantic City was probably, in terms of its economy, hit on more than any other city throughout the country. We know what it did to our unemployment numbers and the challenges that facilities like Atlantic Care and the other healthcare professionals in the Atlantic County region had to face. We are pleased, as Lori said, that our numbers are definitely going down from Omicron. We learned to alter our lifestyles. We learned to get back to the life that we all lived pre-pandemic. And there's no doubt that the city of Atlantic City is going to play a big role in that because people are ready to come out. They want leisure time activity. They want that boardwalk. And they love being in our Atlantic City hotels and casinos. We are funding several neighborhood preservation projects throughout the neighborhood. We know that Ducktown and Chelsea and other communities uh, that are scattered throughout the city are ripe for revitalization and development, creating and supporting small businesses, doing initiatives to support young people in the city. One of the things that we work very closely with uh, Mayor Small and his administration on are bringing back positive social, educational, and cultural activities for the young people in Atlantic City. That is the next generation of leadership here. Thank you, uh, Harvey and Stockton and Barbara and Cape uh, Atlantic for working with us to support leadership development activities and other things as we spawn the next generation. You know that Governor Murphy uh, revamped our New Jersey Economic Development Authority. We have 16 new programs that are of interest to businesses, small, minority, veteran-owned businesses, and the corporate interests that are here and established in New Jersey and the region. We know that our economic incentive programs can operate well with those who choose to stay and do business in Atlantic City, and these programs are better than ever. You can see where they are targeting and investing resources that Creta has the benefit of receiving. I want to thank Creta, its leadership, and its staff for showing and demonstrating what can be done if we work in a collaborative method. And just in closing, I want to say this. People often felt that the hospitality industry was the priority in Atlantic City, and it is. But I also want the residents as business owners in Atlantic City to know that you are an equal priority. Atlantic City does not work without all of us working together. We're demonstrating what outcomes come from stakeholders working together. And I know that 2022 is going to be a banner year for the city of Atlanta.